Hey guys, welcome to the GameMaker Roundup, where we take a look at noteworthy things going on around the GameMaker Studio developer community. First thing this week centers around a tool called GM Live, created by Vadim, also known as Yellow Afterlife. Vadim recently updated GM Live to bring it in line with the recent updates to GameMaker's new structs and methods introduced into the 2.3 beta. GM Live allows for real-time changing of code without having to recompile your projects, which can be super useful for rapidly testing design changes on the fly. Do note, however, that not everything is fully supported as of yet, so make sure to review the notes about this mentioned over on his blog. And just in case anyone is really out of the loop, YoYo Games recently opened up access to the 2.3 beta for everybody, so if you haven't tried it yet, you can go give it a shot now. But, bit of a warning, make sure you back up existing projects first before trying to import them into the beta, because it's a beta, it can break things. Back things up, you've been warned. Michael, also known as Dragonite or Dragonite Spam on Twitter and YouTube, has done work on a visual particle editor and uploaded a short video showcasing what he can do. He also has a nearly two hour video showing some of its development, so if lengthier technical videos are your thing, you can also give that a go. Particle Lab can be downloaded for free from both itch.io and GitHub. And as a side note, Michael recently started a Patreon page, so if you like the stuff he creates and shares, maybe consider supporting him there. Buy him a coffee. He could probably use a coffee. And if he doesn't like coffee, buy him some tea. Over on Facebook, James Grice posted a video to the GameMaker devs group showing a stress test of his 3D RTS engine. The scene includes 5,000 units, each with 6,200 polygons and simulated wheel suspension. Personally, I really enjoy seeing people push 3D in GameMaker when it's questionable that they should. Who needs fancy 3D engines anyway? You can follow James's progress on the GameMaker community form linked in the description below. Jamie R and Nick Muse over on Twitter have been posting GIFs of their top-down action game currently in the works. It showcases some tight-looking gameplay shrouded by sleek lighting effects and tons of style. If this looks up your alley, give Jamie or Nick a follow over on Twitter to keep tabs on further development. And lastly, Solo Studio Tech over on YouTube uploaded a video showcasing features and updates to version 2.2 of their level editor framework called Darkspine. Its goal is to allow developers to more easily design games with a creative style similar to that of Rayman Legends. From the looks of it, the creator of the framework has put plenty of time and effort into it. If this is something you could see helping the development of your projects, you can check it out on the GameMaker Marketplace. Well guys, that is it for the very first GameMaker Roundup. If you guys found this to be of any interest, be sure to let me know I can make more, and if not, I can stop. Well, until next time, guys. Oh yeah, don't forget, links in the description below. You can, if you want to find any of the stuff that I talked about, find the links below. You know where to find them. Until next time, guys. Blessings.